Before we start this video, comment down below what character you want to see me make a beginner's guide on. The most popular comment will get a guide sometime later this week, so make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that way you don't miss it. Thank you. Alright, so today I'll be giving you an intro guide to Melee. I know there are probably a lot of Ultimate players that are trying out Melee due to the new rollback netcode, and are probably also curious to see how the games differ in terms of game mechanics. So in this video, I will explain three major differences between Melee and Ultimate. The first major differences are the primary defensive options that players use. In Ultimate, dropping shield takes 11 frames, but in Melee it takes 15 frames and there is no parrying. Combined with the increased shield stun allowing for better shield pressure, Shielding in melee isn't a very strong option overall. To avoid getting hit, players employ a variety of different movement options to evade attacks. This is preferred since by staying mobile, you can not only evade the attack, but punish it as well, whereas with shielding, you can only punish attacks that aren't safe on shield. In fact, the key to good melee is good movement and is arguably the most important part to getting good at melee. The second biggest difference in melee are the character weight classes. In melee, fall speed matters a lot when trying to combo and kill your opponents. In general, the faster they fall, the less vertical knockback they receive. This is why Samus, while being much heavier than Fox, tends to die earlier off the top of the stage since she is very floaty, but Fox falls very fast. In addition, despite Falcon being far heavier than Falco, many combos and setups work for both of these characters. On top of this, there are many throws in this game that are weight dependent, meaning that the heavier the character is, the longer the throw animation takes, so this will change the timing for certain follow-ups and even make some follow-ups impossible, such as Fox's up throw up air on Samus, due to her floatiness but also her heavy weight causing the throw to have more lag. It's important to understand every character's weight and fall speed so you can optimize your follow-ups. Lastly, Melee has far different mechanics when it comes to ledge play and edge guarding. In Melee, there is no ledge trumping or ledge snapping, and with the wrong DI, certain moves can send you flying at downwards angles and leave you in impossible positions to recover, although if you use the correct DI, you are more vulnerable to combos from weaker hits, so it is a mix-up. However, the most important thing about the ledge is ledge invincibility. If you let go of the ledge, you still retain the invincibility that you had from grabbing the ledge, and if you re-grab the ledge after releasing it, you will regain all your invincibility, so so this creates some of the most powerful options in the game when it comes to ledge play. Ledge stalls, ledge dashes, platform dashes, or even just bypassing the ledge altogether and going for an edge cancel on stage. Melee gives the player strong options to come back from a disadvantageous position. Alright, so those are probably the three most important differences between Melee and Ultimate from a mechanic standpoint. Hope you guys enjoyed, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.